Good morning, and welcome to another daily devotional. I am Sister Adeshala coming to you from the Mother Shrine out of Detroit, Michigan. Have you ever wanted something so badly that you were willing to do almost any and everything for it? If plan A didn't work, you constructed plans B and C just in case, and in the end, all of your plans still failed? Speaking in truth, we all may have at a certain point done what we thought was best or what we thought was necessary because we're human and we make mistakes. Now that is the beauty of living. We learn as we grow, turning our mistakes into what I call learn lessons. And within these lessons, there's a space for self-awareness, for guidance, and most of all, peace. Now, I must quote my dear sister Issa, okay, when she enlightened us in a previous devotional by saying, what God has for you is still for you. And sometimes letting go is letting God in. This is when we take our individual visions, what we thought is best, our wants and needs, and we allow God to manifest them in an even better way than we may not have been able to see. Now you may say, I thought faith without works is dead. And that is true. However, letting go is sometimes all the action needed to acquiesce God's favor. Brothers and sisters, we must learn to let go of what holds us back so that we may continue to prosper and attain what is rightfully ours. In closing, I want you to repeat after me. I recognize the barriers to achieving my goals and I move around, over, and through them at the start of letting go. I recognize the barriers to achieving my goals and I move around, over, and through them at the start of letting go. I recognize the barriers to achieving my goals and I move around, over, and through them at the start of letting go.